Emma Kobo from Bust. We are one of the Botswana Innovation Fund 2019 recipients. Our project turns coal to gas. This coal is put in a gasifier at temperatures around 1000 degrees Celsius, which the gas is then produced. This gas is used as fuel in power generators. The generators are then integrated to the power grids, which are then be able to produce electricity that are used in homes and businesses. Before receiving this fund, this was just an idea and a research project for my PhD. But now upon receiving this um, funding for, from BIH, what will happen is we'll be able to now move from just a concept to something that is implementable and actually prove it by buying other units that are beyond just producing synthetic gas, which are generators in the power grid. We would like to thank Busona Innovation Hub for administering the fund. We hope that this project will benefit Botswana and will impact their lives positively. My name is Penyo Chelani. My company is Elginian Engineering Technology. I'm a recipient of second core Botswana Innovation mm -hmm. Fund to develop a technology solution or product for the mining industry. My solution monitors the stability of the mine. It detects the slightest seismic disturbances, ground motion and vibration leading to impending geohazard or oncoming collapses. Being a recipient of the Botswana Innovation Fund will assist us through the product development process. It will cover the technical design, procurement of components, manufacturing, testing and validation of the product to come up with a fully functional product that is ready for commercial use. I would like to thank Botswana Innovation Hub for administering the fund that will enable the successful development of our product. Hello there, my name is Philip Selwyn. I'm from a clean tech company called Bion Holdings. We are recipients of the second call of the Botswana Innovation Fund. Bion Holdings produce uh, clean tech generators, which are a hybrid solution which gives electricity without polluting the environment. They comprise of different charging systems, including solar panels, which then enables them to give electricity without seizing and without uh, combusting fuel or emitting any greenhouse gases. The Innovation Fund is helping us to develop our product from its prototype stage to at least the point of commercializing. So it basically helps us to acquire new components which are much more energy efficient to perfect the looks of the unit itself to be appealing to the customer. We thank the Botswana Innovation Hub, which is administrating the Innovation Fund, to help us develop our products to the commercial stage. We really thank you. I'm a physics lecturer in the University of Botswana, specializing in atmospheric physics. When I enrolled for my PhD, I ventured into a virtually uncharted grounds within the atmospheric physics, which was quite terrifying because nobody has done it before, at least the angle that I was taking. So it was really terrifying, scary, but I was determined because I could see substance in what I was doing. So it goes without saying that the quality of the proposal that I had needed to be tested for me to be sure that I'm actually doing something out there. And the 2017 edition of the L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Award gave me that opportunity. 
It was a proposal for women scientists in sub-Saharan Africa across 49 countries to send their proposals for this prestigious award. So I put in mine and I became one of the 14 women scientists to be given this award among over 400 applicants. So getting this award has actually opened lots of doors of opportunities for me, both regionally and globally, career-wise and research-wise. We know how hard it is actually to be a young African scientist in a male-dominated field to get access to certain things such as equipment and data and all the like. But this award has given me wings to fly and the sky is not the limit, it is just the beginning. As women scientists in Botswana, we are actually doing well, but we can do much better. The 2020 edition of L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science gives us yet another opportunity to showcase our talent as Botswana female scientists. As the first Botswana to actually get this award, I want to encourage you, girl child, I want to encourage you, woman scientists, to go on ahead and put in that application. Who knows? The next step in advancement of science could be in your hands. The world needs science and science needs women. If I can do it, you can. Go on, girl child, and put in that application.